I'm gonna show you how you can virtually try on any piece of clothing that you see online before you decide to hit purchase. And you can do this with any clothing that you see on Shein, Amazon, Target, Walmart, anywhere where you can save a clear picture of the clothing like this one, this one's on Shein. And then you can use this AI and put the piece of clothing on yourself and see what it looks like, like this. Yeah, I didn't think this one was my style, but now I know for sure. First, I'll show you what it looks like using a hot peak male body like mine, and then we'll try it with a female body because knowing my girlfriend and how much shopping she does, I know this will be really useful for women who do a lot of shopping online. First, you want to go to klingai.com. It'll be this one here. And then you want to go to AI images. Click on AI virtual try on. This is a new feature. And now here it's asking us to create an AI model. We don't want to do that. I mean, you may want to do that if you don't want to use yourself as the model. You would just choose which gender you want to use, the age, the skin tone, maybe describe the AI model like their hairstyle, the outfit pose, background. But we want to use ourselves. It's going to be a lot more useful for a lot of people, I would imagine. So just go to AI outfit. Now we want to upload an image of ourselves. So we're going to click on upload. Now this image doesn't have to be super high quality. You could just use your phone to take a picture of yourself just standing in a pose like this. I just took a video of myself and then took a still image from this. Here's the image that I'm going to use. Now you also want to make sure that your image isn't more than 50 megabytes. The short side is greater than 512 pixels and the long side is less than 4096 pixels. Also JPEG and PNG format. If you're taking a picture with your smartphone, you should be good. But if you do need to resize, you could just go to imageresizer.com. Just upload your picture and make sure that the width and height is according to those requirements. And then you could just save your picture and then upload it. I tried doing this before with just my face and it told me that it wasn't going to work. Even though it was within these requirements, I guess it has some kind of detection on whether or not your full body is in it. So you want to make sure that your full body and your face are in it, but it will tell you if it won't accept it. So now we want to go find our piece of clothing. Let's go to Shein here and just browse a little bit. Let's see. Let's try something wild. Here we go. Let's try something like this. I've always wanted to see what I look like in plaid. So just take a snapshot of your image and save that. If you're wondering what kind of snapshot tool I'm using in my videos, I use something called Lightshot. It's really useful for taking screenshots and easily saving them. All I have to do is hit print screen and select the area I want to save. And there you go. It's easy and it's free. So we have our outfit now. We want to go back. We want to go back into cling. And now we're going to select a single garment because it's just a, a top. And we want to upload that. Going to do some auto cropping. And there we go. It's uploaded. And now all we have to do, uh, we have to set our number of outputs. Let's go with two outputs just to be safe. That means it's just going to give you two different versions of the outfit tried on you. And we'll just hit generate. And while this image is generating, I wanted to see what it would look like if I were to put that image into the image to video on Kling. And here's what I got. This looks pretty good. This is almost exactly how I, I was moving in the video. Yeah, you could see the piece of clothing on you. You could see yourself moving a little bit. And if you wanted to get a little more movement out of yourself, you can even prompt that in this prompt box here, which I didn't do. I just didn't put any prompt at all. And I'll show you how I did this in the end of this video. But here's what we got with the, the plaid suit. It gave us two different versions. They're not too different, like at all. There's a little bit of discrepancy in this part. I, I don't see that at all in the image that I gave it, but I mean, it doesn't need to be perfect. I just need to get a general idea of what I would look like. It even added uh, it gave me a, a white undershirt, which I didn't have before. It was just a regular white tee. Now I may want to give myself some pants because I would not be wearing gray sweatpants with a, a top like this. I, I think it, it did great for what it did. I just don't think it looks good on me. So I know not to buy this now. And I forgot to mention this earlier, but when you're taking a picture of yourself to be used as a reference, you want to make sure that your pictures look like this. It's either full body or a little part of your body is cut off from the knees up. So you're giving cling a lot to work with. So now let's try to find an image of a woman full body that we can use. We'll go with this one here. So let's just screenshot that. I just found this one from Shein. I had to do a little bit of browsing because not all of these clothings have like individual images of it. There was a lot of pictures with people wearing it. We just want the piece of clothing. So I found this. We're going to save it and then let's go back into cling and we need to change our model. So I'm going to upload the new one of a woman and then we're going to let's stick with single garment and let's re upload and we're going to choose our dress. And then at the top right here, we're going to make sure that we select dress slash suit because this is a dress. We want to make sure you choose this because if you were to just choose top, it might only put this dress on the top half of yourself. So select this one. Let's just go with one. 
so we use less credits and we'll hit generate and here we go this actually worked very well it looks like the exact same picture that we used of the dress that's amazing actually okay uh so now what if we want to make this into a video so you can get a better idea of what it looks like when you're moving with this with cling they actually make it really easy you just go to the bottom right and hit bring to life this will bring you to the image to video section this one costs a little bit more credits because you're making it into a video and you could just hit generate here and not put any prompt but i did that before and it worked pretty good but now let's try it let's see what happens if we have her doing jumping jacks so we'll just write the prompt woman doing jumping jacks and everything looks pretty good here and let's hit generate so while that's generating i had myself do some jumping jacks uh, these do not look like the jumping jacks that i know of but there is a lot of movement and i can see what i look like <laughs> doing some double fist pumps at a party or something the top i don't think it looks great on me but you know it stays on while i'm jumping up and down now we have the girl doing some jumping up and down now i did come across a problem when i tried to generate a video using the image that it gave me it said that the aspect ratio had to be two five or five two which i i would think it would just do that itself but if you come across that error you would just download the generated image that it gives you using this button right here download it without a watermark or you can even download it with a watermark if you don't have the credits. Go into imageresizer.com, upload your image, and make the width 800 and the height 2000. Hit resize, and it'll process, and you just download it. And then you would just go on to Kling AI, go to AI videos, upload the newly resized image. You can put in a prompt if you want. We already have the woman doing some jumping jacks. Let's have her do a 360 spin, because maybe we want to see what the backside of this outfit would look like, which I'm wondering how this will do, because the AI does it know what the backside of this outfit looks like so it's just going to generate what it thinks it would look like let's just write the prompt women doing a 360 degree spin and we'll hit generate on that and i already did that prompt with myself so let's see what the so let's see what that looks like oh nice oh it actually did really well. Oh, we were doing three, two 360 degree spins. It even got the backside of my head right because I do have a little bit of a mullet going on. It looks like it didn't get the right texture, but it did get the colors right. And that's probably pretty close to what this top would look like on the backside. So I'm curious to see what it'll do with the woman because this one has a lot of design all over the, the dress. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, this is very well done. That is amazing. It even gives her some heels in her socks. This is probably exactly what the backside of this dress looks like. So I am actually very impressed with this cling try on feature. So I noticed while browsing through Shein, a lot of these pictures don't have the outfit just by itself with nobody wearing it. So I wanna see what happens if we use an outfit that is already being worn. I'm just wondering if it will still be able to work. So we're gonna test this out. So we're gonna take this image here. I'm gonna screenshot it with Lightshot. And for this model, we're just gonna use one of their default models that they have on the platform. We're just gonna select her. And then we're gonna upload our garment. Let's do two outputs for this one and hit generate. And here's what we got. It's not exactly the same. I th it looks like it had a lot of problems with this pattern because the bow kind of blends in with the skirt part. So it doesn't really know what to do with that. And we're getting a little bit of hallucination here around the hands, probably because we have somebody already wearing the outfit, but it's still pretty good. So if you don't mind a little bit of hallucinations like this, you really want to try an outfit on virtually, you could still do that. It's just not going to be as good. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this cool cling try on feature. If you have any questions or have found something cool with this, let us know in the comments. And if you want to stay on top of AI and live the life that you were meant to live, because that's what I'm all about on this channel. So if you're into that, hit the like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.